start out with community comments. Uh, please limit two minutes and please identify yourself and uh, where you live. This is for any non agendized items. So, anything under the sun? <coughs> Mr. Turner, live over on Cedar Brook. Uh Did we get an update on the repit? The last meeting, you said they was gonna, he's gonna research the, about a document that went out ten years ago, <coughs> and then the, they was gonna have a meeting between the sheriffs and on the illegal operating. The, the and the signed postage. Has not had that meeting yet. Yeah, my understanding is that the. the Sheriff's Department, there's a temporary leadership there, so we were hoping to, once they established who the new captain was going to be out there, since Captain Mayor has been voted, that uh, at that point we would get a, get a meeting together. Uh, anything before that's going to be premature because whatever he says may be completely changed by whoever's brought in. Did we get clarification on the speeding up and down? There's no sign. Yeah, we so haven't received anything, anything about that. We sent the request out on that. But okay. But of the change of leadership, leadership but maybe this engineer is no longer there. He was there a month ago. So we have asked. They don't know. That's the where we were. We asked the council to order a meeting in order to get their word. Lieutenant Schaefer is acting. I was going to say the staff. Same on the forcing uh, the well, I think you can call. I mean, there's not. I mean, well, yeah. The problem is when you call, and, you know, because I know we can all most of our law enforcement, but the problem is it takes them four hours to get out there, and the you know, first thing out of their mouth is, "Well, I didn't see anybody." So, as a community, I would think we could do something together to at least slow it down or something like an occasional coming through there because I'm actually seeing a lot more horses out there riding it but even the horses they, they, they riding up the street and these people are flying by them and scaring the hell out of the horses that's, that's wrong well I mean short of getting a volunteer but we used to have yeah, but that. we don't we don't think, I know the sheriff's to make sure we need to make it clear to the sheriff there's a lot of blindness in the Lucy in the football sorry Lucy in the football events for we really need to show them some of this community is willing to do Involvement, the same thing with the community cleanup. Was, 
meeting the community standards and we all should be playing our own role in trying to keep the community recognized. This LA County law against any vehicles over 30 days and accumulate in your yard. I mean, I would just think as, as a community, we should be able to put something together that, you know, we can work and make it happen, working with, you know, Deputy Sofa there and so forth. Right along as they do all the time, I do my cadet. That's volunteers on patrol. Yeah. yeah. Really, we have to make it clear to the sheriff. If maybe between now and the next meeting, if you could bring up that feature, on the streets. Yes and no. There is, you, you'll obviously have the presence It's not a black and white, it's an all white car, it's got a yellow light bar. However, it does get sheriff on it, so there's a possibility we can get license plates, we can find out where a car is associated with what house or whatever, but obviously the volunteers aren't going to be doing traffic stops, diesels or anything. Right. So, it would uh, be a deterrent. But with that being said, if, if we're running into roadblocks on not having deputies out here, we all have bosses. So, if you don't like what I say, I have a sergeant. If you don't like what my sergeant says, he has a lieutenant. So eventually you're gonna end up talking to the right person who's just gonna say, we need to keep the acting cars in acting, or you know, or I wanna see patrol checks over here at least two, three, four times a shift, whatever it is. But right, what, what does it take though? Just me being one voice or the last one? Every time they I, I call the sheriff's department in Antelope Valley all the time. It's got to be. Go, well, we're really the, sorry in four hours. The only people who can call are the people who were affected. Your neighbors, so if, 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 if yeah. like what you said, you talk to your neighbors and they're in the same return, they need to call. You're wrong, but if you got four or five calls from people on Cedarcroft when this is going on, that's going to probably generate somebody's, gonna, somebody's obviously going to go, something's obviously going on out there because we get, I'm not saying for acting, no, whatever, but you have you have calls where somebody will call in and say there is a shooting at Walk and Don't Walk, but then Nobody when the call gets typed in, they'll say there's only one call. And then the people rolling out there will get a hold of the desk and let's say, is anybody else called? They'll run our way out here and they'll still know there's only one call. <coughs> so I'm not saying there's not a shooting, but usually if there is something big, you're going to have multiple calls. It's just like a traffic accident on the freeway. 911 gets just overwhelmed because of uh, something on the freeway or same thing at uh, city street. So, like but, the example I, I usually is meeting before you went on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Little lady, she was 63. As soon as she's a rep star, she's 63 years old. How am I going to chase that motorcycle? So that's where I see the disconnect at. I mean, you know, I understand they keep pulling you out of acting. This is what is going to have that meeting, which I understand they've got a promotion and stuff like that. I just think that the longer we put it off, the worse it gets. And, you know, my fear is. I how somebody know, you know, we, we were surveying my land Saturday, put my fence up, I bet five cars almost run over the survey key. I mean, they got the big traffic thing out, they got cones 25 feet from where they're standing. Cars or the dirt There are cars just flying out through there. So just, okay. So just in general, so, cars. Yeah, because I see that sign, it says there's a county maintained road, so they think, oh, right over, we can go. Are you talking about a survey for your property or yeah. for the speed? No, no, survey, they were surveying my property, so I put my fence up. Okay. Answer. But I mean, that was a danger, even with the red cones, the white truck with the bar on it, like just then it sheriff on it. But it, you know, it was just, we're all out there in road guard vests. It's like, wow, this is, this is terrible. So I'm just, I'm just asking as the community as a whole, there's got to be something we can do. I agree. I like and people who are and hopefully at this meeting we'll find but what I want to do is have the meeting, <clears throat> then have a, a, the new captain come in and either not have the meeting, I'm going to have a meeting a second time now, go through it all again, or whatever's agreed to there, or he can't agree to things. I mean, it's pretty variable. So until they, there's a permanent captain in place, I think it's wise to push that because it's kind of the same kind of thing of you know, not uh, getting accomplished. Anymore.
Yeah, but if we want to keep Deputy Sofa in action because he's yeah, oh, resident absolutely. active, I, I, they only have to prove the reason we need him out here versus him getting called out totally. And, uh, and that has to be the effective. Yeah. Long until permanent um, uh, years replacement. Years replacement. New sure. Could be like months, because if it could be months, maybe it's useful just yeah. to get this new guy, and then in three months get. So we'll see. Because Tom sent the original email, yeah. right? specific questions. Why do you need to register all businesses? Not just so we asked we keyed our keyed on the FAQ because of the information that there was They might have been the last week. <laughs> they might have been the last week. I haven't checked the Oh, 
short. having a survey done. In general, well, this complaint is about Cedar Crop. Yeah. This complaint is also, I'm not, not going to pick on him because I didn't come here just no. to pick on him. No. Um, part of the wash is, is if you look it up on the map and actually go up there, it's the base of Carson. No, 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 yeah. I mean, we're, we're, I know it seems like we're focusing there. We're talking about in general because there, there seems to be confusion across uh, the board on, on what. Who has jurisdiction to, to, to monitor things in, in, in the wash? Uh, how they implement it? Who's in charge of that? We're, we're just trying to. It's, it's more of an information gathering than anything else. So we're not we're not sitting out saying we're not going to go into the and say, hey, see your cross got all these issues. What do we do about these issues? We're, we're talking in general. Um, yeah. 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 Shoulder and, and the um, 
look at that. Those are the things. Yeah, these are all the things. Yeah. That's, that's all we're looking for is, is clarity. That's not been what we've been told but in the past but as a council. So we've been told because, okay. for example, well, I, I, can, I can easily write a ticket to somebody writing their ATB on a specific approach. I can write to somebody and force them. Yeah, and, and so and it's, I'm just trying to explain to you the area there so there's a little clarity rather than having to go. This and kind of well, I want to make sure that maybe Mr. Turner understands what applies to where he lives. Okay. Well, I, you're welcome to have that, that, that conversation offline. I, I want to yeah, I'm sorry to take your time. No, 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 no you can go. It's fine. Yeah. I was here a couple weeks ago, and um, I said that the lady's not here. So she suggested to Mr. Turner and I that we can talk. And then over the last two weeks, and he's made zero attempts to contact me. Well, let me just catch this saying that, that the conversation with the, 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 cap, the sheriff captain actually started with a, a completely uh, different thing, which was trying to get the uh, substation here in, in town. So this is just... Which they've been trying to do for many years. Correct. Yeah. Ten yeah. years ago, ten plus years ago, they had a substation. They're just moving yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah, and so that, that, that's part of what we're trying to rekindle and try to get that going. So, so this is... This is kind of like, hey, let's just bring in our, our, our laundry list of like questions that we had. So, well, but his concern, him pressing for that, his concern is basically the ATV, anything that he can hear. So that's the reason I'm questioning that. Understood. And then he said, for the rest of us, it's really a special meeting with the chair.
child neglect, one elder abuse, financial, uh, one felony transportation and sales of a controlled substance, misdemeanor possession of found narcotics, one misdemeanor possession of marijuana, one DUI alcohol or drugs, one misdemeanor hit and run, one misdemeanor vandalism, six vandalisms, two uh, miscellaneous felonies, uh, one theft from a vehicle, from an unlocked vehicle, which personal items were taken, two thefts from unlocked vehicle or parts of the system, two petty thefts, uh, one trespassing, one miscellaneous misdemeanor, two suspected abuse, one suspicious circumstance, criminal activity, one fire, two mentally ill persons, two persons dead from unknown causes, three possessed vehicles, one lost, stolen, found, recovered license plate, two elder abuse, uh, allegation only, one recovered vehicle, one stolen, or recovered stolen from an uh, outside agency, and one vehicle was uh, stolen. where it's more prevalent in Acton than a lot. Have you noticed a trend over the years? It's, it is. The breakdown I get, it is everywhere. So there's not, it's not tied down to one story. Now I'll show you what I get and... I try to, I just, I just... So... The place that we <laughs> the place. Right here. <laughs> so, but, because it encompasses everything, and to, a lot of the, uh, the vehicles that are towed or whatever, a lot of it is, we talked about last time, people pulling off the freeway if the car gets down, they don't come back for it. Or a parking lot, the, uh, the owner doesn't want the car there, so towed. Um, but then again, like somebody said, it is the holidays also. So a lot of that stuff, people leave stuff in cars. However, the cars that are getting broken into out here, there was one arrest that was made. Uh, so that was, that was Friday, Friday, early mornings on Friday. Is it a resident? So, yes. Uh, but with that being said, with what we talked about with calling the station, this was somebody that actually either was probably going to work or something, but woke up, saw a U-Haul truck outside, and told us nobody's moving. Fortunately, this guy was out doing whatever he was doing, but got back in the car and fell asleep. So, <laughs> definitely just got out there, and they found stolen property from the road into the night before, and so, yes, at least one person is in custody. Other more, went to, went to jail. And then, another thing we talked about was the substation. So paperwork has been turned into the station. So Brady Watt put together a MOU. Oh. So that was so I picked it up from Brady. Uh, I turned it in on the second. So it went to Lieutenant Schaefer because he name of a attorney for County Council, also Lieutenant Schaefer. So what this thing is gonna do now, it's gonna ping pong back and forth. So He's going to say, this is what we want. He's going to go back to Mr. Watt. Mr. Watt's going to say, I either agree or disagree with that. He's going to go back. So it's going to go back and forth for a little bit. We're hoping because Brady wants, Brady basically just wants to give us him. So. And if, if you need to have some sort of parking adjustment or modification, please let us know because I'm sure the community would support that. Yeah. So, okay. we're, that and where we're looking at, it's a... Uh, was, uh, we had a sergeant and another deputy come out. They gave Brady some suggestions. So it's basically right at Santiago Street on the side of the gym, and mm -hmm. we have dancing in the yeah, place. place and so that, if there is a significant event out here, the one thing you brought up was the parking lot is picking up. We can see that. But also, they mentioned to you on Santiago where he wants to get that right next to the deck. So if somebody does go there, instead of pulling in the parking lot, we can park in Santiago and I can pop. So, but with what they said, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this moving sooner than later because the station will keep people out here. We don't have to go back to the right paper, turn paper in, or use a restroom, something like that. So. I'll do this one. I'll show you number two. But that's where we're 
rat on that. And the uh, other thing too was uh, Brady also said, which is when he lost, was he gave it to the county. But he said after a year's up, I want rent, and the county went away. So that's why we lost. So, so and I think that's what. Not hearing that now, though. Not hearing that now. Yeah, he's even talking about something that he has. He's been talking about having a meeting group. So it sounds like once this thing gets off the ground and finally gets where everybody is. Agreement. Some mutual understanding, it'll it'll be here forever. So, <laughs> so yeah. And then there's also talk about is it gonna be staff? But that was one of the things where maybe if we get a uh your cadre of volunteers, maybe at least a volunteer to bring business out. Library reports. So, library. Let me start with a new facility announcement. Some exciting stuff. First, um, well, we'll do the holiday first. Monday, January twenty-first, will be closed. to go look money because down there or up there. Do um, it online. You can come here. My look uh, for the Valley Transit and the Santa Cruz. Another thing. You think, you know, I want to you happen to see some or something or something else. We are still just started a process of them along the building. I've been trying. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, it's been a long road. The project started today. Um, it's going to go for another month. So it's kind of it's it's open doors. Being said, there's a lot of trim and metal. Will be closed intermittently. So, uh, that's what people want to know. Uh, just a few programs I want to let you guys know about. I have here. coming up on Saturday, January 26th at 10:30 in the morning. We're having a Saturday. This is um, uh, for people to come and talk with the county about what I need to do for business. The consumer and business affairs will be here. We're getting um, hospital representatives and people who come, patients, questions, what they need, they'll be here. At 10.30 on Saturday. Tuesday, January 29th, we're actually going to be having we're pulling out that telescope we've got. Weather permitting, of course, let up, pull it out. And along that same line, uh, Tuesday, January 26th, I have someone from the Jet JPL from coming up. We're going to be talking about Of information, so we'll be talking about that. Aaron, she's 
should be super interesting to have in here. Over when they talk about Mars. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking forward to who we get. That though, I do have to say is tentative. On Oh, the JPL thing? Yeah. yeah, because they're funded, because they're NASA and funded through NASA, really coming to the library is not important essential. enough, but essential. It's not considered essential. But they don't agree with me.
my knowledge of the zone change that has been supported for the use that was the history uses communities even including some change uses but I think our biggest thing is but our concern that We've had with these zone changes in the past is that the community support has only happened twice a year that I know of in the last two, four years. Uh, so the community support of zone change based on the same use that was done last year. And then the zone change is done and it's permanently marked. The developer has done this research they find about what they want to build. And then after a different developer, so the site has to be approved. Yeah. And so, 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 Those are concerns. And that was, that was, even if this community had the to try to, this, 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 the actual use that's approved is submitted to the community for the process. So, but we weren't, none, I don't think any of us knew. Well, what you were thinking about. Yes, um, that's what would, would it be useful? So what I think you're going to have to do is look at the zone change rules. Right. Have you sat down with them at all to find out what they would require? So we've talked a little bit, and they said, yeah, it'd be good for them, um, but we want to make sure that the local community is going to be considered for this. Because it would be subject to special use permit. Correct. That. And this is so we. Want to do is not trying to do this in this Also, we don't think it's going to be sensitive to some of the things that we do as well for my business and everything. So, we have, we have a lot of friends and family in this area. And so, we uh, our stepmom was her, uh, the hash collector. Um, we read the sheriff's report. We had our friend actually get his house broken into um, in November. Um, so that's why we're, we're kind of pushing for that as well. You know, actually yeah, have the sheriff's coming to town also. Um, so yeah, and, you know, kind of, we want to make it that country theme, keep it, you know, small town African, keep it how, you know, African is supposed to be. Um, we appreciate that. You know, the, the county is pretty good about making sure that that yeah. happens as well. I, I just know from past experience, the main concern that, that we as a council would have so if you guys think but let me suggest something we sat down half our people we weren't aware of what the okay. development was we thought oh, yeah, no, I, I, I thought I it was just gonna be what do you like to have yeah, yeah this is this is kind of our end goal which is great high level anyway um, if you if you have a, if you have an idea of where you'd put the thing and how you'd like it mm -hmm. or something yeah. and you can do even hand drawn ideas of what it is. Yeah, yeah. We, and coming back, yeah, no, of course. and then we can we put it in the paper. That's what the meeting is going to be so that people who are concerned about it can also go and whoever can do something can also go and do something. So normally, what we do is we have a better idea of what you're asking for. And we ask for community input. We have community input. We put it together. We can always do our own research. If the county's willing to put in the CUP what the use is, in this case, our new story. linked yeah. to the zone change. So the nexus for the county is this basically the traffic nexus. So we support such use of property. And that property is also in the nexus of the use of the zone change in this zone change process, which is very low traffic. Very little traffic. As traffic. does this. It's well, yeah, I, I agree. I understand. So, so if, we can, if the council, this is just a heads up, something I'll be saying when we come back. Yeah, no. Is we're going to ask the county to put that use in as part of this zone change analysis. So 
Not so at, to because it's linked into traffic. This is some changes the discretionary. Important too, yeah. Our experience, <laughs> big problem. Yeah. Because as you know, highway right there is a way yeah. for a, a and it becomes a three lane. So you know, so east for some reason, west people think it's so fashionable for human. Exactly. So, so traffic is a concern, especially if it's a more use slow moving vehicles. is now more concerned about because we wouldn't mind come back with maybe a, something you can you know, give us a comment. we'll put it up, post it on our website so the community can see it first real substantive comments on what you really want and, and the sooner you guys can do that I mean, I'd be happy to try to get it on the February agenda okay. if you can get us this yeah we'll, as, we'll try and get a preliminary sketch on an idea um, again I don't have all the as far as the exact rules those any this is a general high level view of it yeah we can definitely yeah, that that would be, be fancy you don't have to hire an architect just something that gives some be, a general people, idea of where you're going to stick the building idea of yeah. what, what the facilities there are there's House right above it there. So, so they might have an idea of like if it's going to be 35 feet high, yeah. so that's their view. Well, that's because it's on a slope. That house, yeah, the house is way up top. He has all his horses in front of it. So it's not like there's the next to it there. He's right. got some space. So it's not really, uh, yeah. if, it, if the only view we block is the freeway in front of it, it shouldn't actually go beyond that to the mountains. Yeah, and I'm not sure that's the case, but it's still yeah. visualized yeah, of course. for all parties. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but yeah, and it's probably going to be staggered. Yeah, they're going to be stacked down because it is on a slight slope there, so we're going to you know, make the building accordingly. Yeah. So I, I you know, I just the sooner, the sooner we can get something, oh, yeah. we can get it up and get feedback, and then you guys on the agenda, we can communicate that to the community and get some feedback. Direction. That's my historical. For the specific, I just like, oh, I just want a zone change, and I. No, to have right. to tell you what I so that has not been supported. <laughs> you, you know what you wanted, and that's always been supported in the community as long as it was community, or, or, you know, local. Yeah. We'll put some together. Um, Kendra's been emailing you, and I've been seeing on it for me to send. Boy, can I keep in touch with you on that? Can you send it to ATC at actingtowncouncil.org? That goes to all of us and then okay. that okay. way. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's okay. up there. It was on ATC. She, Jackie is our, our correspondent secretary. Okay. She's that gonna, that's why it's her name. Yeah, exactly. We all, we all see it. In the bank. But with every send things out to anybody. with the SEA ordinance, um, spoke with uh, the ARCC um, about the SEA ordinance, and she's going to be at the next ARCC meeting on January 30th, along with Susie Tay from the county, who we are working really closely with the SEAs, and um, they're possibly speaking about Talking about the possibilities. It's great. And yeah, the yes. SEA ordinance hearing for the final approval is. What? The SEA ordinance hearing for final approval will be by 20th. Oh, I 
think the plan. I think that's the plan. It hasn't gone. It hasn't gone. Oh, no. terms of the number. Yes. 
this is you can see that they were so just just this area so just a reasonable amount uh, are biologically similar to the ions that are so I didn't contrive it to be so I took this annulus and, and, so and, uh, and then I calculated so this 83 percent is already a higher concentration rate the five or the one that they're asking lands. So we already, in other words, they could, you, know, you can strip all the private lands within the institute, all biological resources, farm all of it, and you already have 83% preserved adjacent to the SCU. So I don't understand how that's the first. They also took, we redid these boundaries in 2017. Actually, took portions within the river and took them out of the SEO. So there's no rhyme or reason to these boundaries. But the point is, the second point is, 80% sets is already seeded. Yeah. You know, so you can't make the argument and say, hey, we have tens of thousands. So what, what I did also was, I'm trying to. Showing that uh, to SCA, private SCA, already preserved SCA, and already preserved land adjacent to SCA, not the adjacent. So that they're all biologically similar because they're right next to each other. That's so the pictures up on the canyon up here. Tom lives. So those are figures that we'll be putting in, to, that are putting into the letter. So for example, this is this is the private lands within public lands within SEA, public lands outside SEA. You know, it's just it's like all this table. Um, so I think we have one thing that was interesting, and it's in the letter. Federal law, under this law, is the amount of has to be commensurate with the amount of impact that the project creates. So it explains that if you're going to take 80%, 60, uh, what's the one category? to show that percent has some significant impact on the other 33. Well, if it's not any value at all, at least under the U.S. Constitution, you'll see that there's a case law that says that it has to be woven in there as well. So that was one of the things. Yeah, that's the lady's lady. Yeah. yeah. Well, she didn't cite Nolan and Dolan. No, no, no. But she, she cited something these. else about this thing called Dusty Moth. The other the other big <laughs> problem, which I just finished before the meeting, was they told us at the town council meeting in September here that the biologist would only count biological resources that were in Hong Kong in the Sun Tzu Reserve. Yeah. Right? But the guidelines say Habitat, but if the hab if it, if the habitat, if there are signs that the habitat is habitable, then the biologist has to be two weeks before they let them. So uh, that's the, the problem I have with that is everywhere in Africa, the SEA, and I mean everywhere, Jennifer Woodland, or Coast of Africa, so it's just the same everywhere. So, so automatically, the biologist could find that the entire property. Category two, so anything you do, you have to do something like this. And I, they're also the, the other thing that's about is that the biologist is not specific to any particular area. But we have required SEA or SEA to give your land.
land to a conspiracy. If there's any less than a conspiracy, deed restriction or a covenant, you can see, oh. prove that uh, it will be more protected. As we learned at the last meeting, a lot of these conservancies I mean, make a lot of money for filming and all those things on and as I pointed out also, the uh, project is all of their land was owned by the private property owners and should have that same access. You'd be burdened any more than a large property developer. I'm also concerned that. Those are the things I'm still I've quantitatively, yeah, is it going to be a really better. solid letter? I just need to get it done. Hard to write, so. that, my goal is to get it done tomorrow, and if it's tomorrow, when? Thank you for allowing yeah. me. Thank you for doing those numbers, Jeff. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's really, it's, it's really important. It's like hugely important. I feel like I cannot. Oh, well, we have, it's we all reserved. Yeah, yeah. 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 Announcements and correspondence. There probably is some. I don't know. Yeah, that was about the only thing. All notes? Nothing. Reports and statements. Committee on planning and coordinating. I'm sure there is, but I. I don't have any report on that. From RTC? Just the On the 30th. Where's that? Yep. We didn't meet. All right. Uh, publicity, not one here. Social media. Finance, ways, and means. Hang on here. Key standards and decorum. I'm going to try to get back on that and try to get some answers. Yep. Open space and recreation. Joe's. Uh, revisiting those here. Yeah. Over the course of the year. So we'll get put on, together. Uh, we'll put on. On the February. All right. Uh, I got a um, I got a final of the disaster uh, plan from <coughs> Rob who sent it. Get that posted on the website. I pulled out a draft. Uh, the final event, so I'm going to get. Dumping, um, earned anything. I did notice an update come up our way. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you had. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I will uh, reach out to mention that after a short lull, there seems to be some updates. Heard anything else from any other zones, though? How we said it's coming. It's been the holidays too. The uh, right below Vasquez High School, so like a, a flat lot. For loads of dirt, papers and stuff like that. On the same side in Vasquez? Yeah, it's on the. So that this is for No, it, it's uh, it, as you come down Vasquez High School, then you have the dairy farm or there's no dairy. Across the street. Yeah, it's a big open lot, and there's just like. Boulders being dug there, and wood well, and rocks. No, it's not the only site. I don't know, I was just asking. There's a site across um, the yeah. county's yeah. using um, a bunch of dirt in it, and they move it to other places so they can take it. So that's when, uh, for example, on the big last August, we needed to dig a lot of. I understand that's what's happening. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll drive 
have done that way to make sure though that yeah, but that's what it is and it's not turning it's not something else no there wasn't uh, somebody there was those property yeah, it just seems to be growing, so I'm just okay. curious. No, that's good. I appreciate that. Um, we did get a request for the town council. Followed up with her with a phone call and emailed her. My understanding is that has worked with the county. Similar to some of the So I got the uh, uh, business program business affairs excellent uh, clause. We also need to at some point we have to go through the process of soliciting for our empty seats. So we have to go through that and advertise and put out announcements and solicit uh, applications. So can we put that on the agenda mm -hmm. for next meeting yeah. so that we can Thanks everybody for coming out.